Apple just announced that iOS 18 is going to be the biggest iPhone update in history, and it's all because of one word, Siri. That's right, the laughing stock of the entire Apple ecosystem might just beat ChatGPT at its own game. Rumored new features include making her fully conversational with the ability to answer complicated questions and execute multi-step tasks from a single voice command. Imagine telling her, hey, take 10 photos, make them into a GIF and send them to my friend Wyatt. We may also get generative AI features throughout all of our apps and might as well throw in the fact that she'll probably be able to see through our camera. And before you say it, yes, Apple is late to the AI fiesta we got going on, but if we've learned anything from Apple's entry into the phone, watch, or VR industry, it's that they don't just enter the industry, they change it forever. But unlike phones or watches, AI is advancing rapidly, and Apple, being the biggest company in the world, faces a major challenge in adapting quickly. And their biggest problem isn't making some killer AI model, in fact, they've probably already done that. The real problem is two of AI's biggest flaws are Apple's greatest obsessions, control and privacy. AI just makes stuff up. It's called the hallucination problem, and it's actually one of the reasons Siri never evolved like we expected. You see, Apple, being the control freaks that they are, wouldn't let AI generate Siri's answers, since it could always be randomly wrong and that would be embarrassing. So instead, they hired 20 writers to create the canned Siri responses we all love and hold oh so dear to our hearts. The second major concern is privacy. Companies like OpenAI and Google are constantly sending our information to and from centralized servers. In Apple's eyes, this is extremely risky at best and an invasion of privacy at worst. So Apple needs to find solutions to both of these problems, and this is where things start to all make sense. They're going to figure out how to put a large language model in its entirety into every one of our phones. This will make everything private, controlled, and hyper-personalized. There's just one more problem. That task is kind of like asking us to fit a whale into a bathtub. LLMs are giant and complicated, and our phones are small. But based on the findings from this research paper in December, they're actually getting pretty close. So if the rumors are true, and if Apple does hit a home run with Siri 2.0, it will change everything. Because unlike ChatGPT, which lives in a browser, Siri 2.0 will live on all of our devices and have access to all of our apps. When you really start to think about that, the possibilities get pretty crazy pretty quickly. But the real question is, will they learn from their serious mistakes or will it just flop?